I have this Sonoff DW1 RF door and window sensor lying unused for a long time. The reason is, as you might already know, that this sensor sends only one code while opening the door. And when we close the door, it doesn't send any code. So basically, it can't tell if the door has been closed or not. This is the reason I call it a dump sensor and have not deployed it yet. I'm sure many of you would be having this sensor and are not using it because of its dump behavior. So if you have one, take it out as today we will modify it to make it usable in some sense. So let's get started. If we look inside the sensor, there is a small circuit board with a 12 volt battery. The housing is so small that we can't add big circuitry inside it. So whatever we add or modify to it, that should be small in size and should not consume much of the battery power. So keeping this in mind, I searched online and found this AM312 mini PIR motion sensor to use with this Sonoff door sensor. It is so small and has a very low power consumption. Hence, I decided to repurpose this dump sensor from Sonoff to use it as a wireless motion sensor where we only need to have that single RF code whenever it detects movement. Now, before installing the motion sensor, let's first quickly understand how this door sensor works. Inside, there is a read switch. For those who don't know what a read switch is, it's a small sensor that turns on or off when exposed to a magnetic field or when kept close to a magnet. This is the main component inside most of the door and window sensors that triggers the rest of the circuitry. In this sensor, this read switch has been kept between the VCC line and the gate of this P-channel MOSFET. When the door is closed, the magnet stays closer to the read switch and the read switch conducts to keep the gate voltage high and prevent it from conducting. Hence, the circuit stays in standby mode. As soon as the door opens, the magnet moves away from the read switch. As a result, the MOSFET gate voltage drops and it starts supplying power to the RF circuit for 2 seconds, which then sends the RF code and this way, we get that door open code and the circuit goes to standby mode again. So logically, here the MOSFET triggers once only when its gate voltage drops from high to low. So now, as we know the working concept, whatever modification we do, we just need to provide a high to low pulse at the gate of the MOSFET to trigger this sensor. And that exactly what this PIR sensor does. Whenever it detects motion, it provides a high voltage on its output pin for 2 seconds, which is enough to trigger the MOSFET and get a RF code. The basic installation is so easy that even a novice can do it. There are 3 pins on the motion sensor. Remove these pins and solder 3 wires to it. Connect the power supply pins of the sensor directly to the battery's positive and negative terminals on the board. Don't worry, it's a low power sensor, hence it won't drain the battery. Now connect the output wire from the sensor to this terminal of the read switch. And that's it. Your wireless PIR sensor is ready for action. Let's fit it inside the housing now. Let's test it now. And perfect, it's working fine. 
so hope you enjoyed this video if you like my work let me know by hitting the like button below if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing to my channel to get all my future videos to simplify your smart home automation journey with me thanks for watching i'll meet you in the next video soon until then keep experimenting